All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, Call Halayim Bla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor be unto the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, a sincere Shalom to you, Ankim out there that's pushing this truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so this lesson is really going to be, you know, um, impromptu. You know, I didn't have any scriptures lined up. I'm going to just go with the Holy Spirit, you know, and just, you know, feed me. Okay, but, um, yeah, man, you know, um, I was just thinking, you know, how well in these last days, you know, um, you know, of course, you know, our faith is going to be tested. But us, you know, knowing, you know, um, what's going to happen, you know, that should give us, you know, um, more confidence because we know what this devil is going to do and we know what is, you know, and we know what's to come. OK, so this uh, video is really, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Really uh, a faith booster, you know, if you will. You know, and just to, um, you know, um, spiritually give you brothers and a few sisters a pep talk, you know, a pep, a pep talk. And, you know, just to stay motivated, you know, stay faithful and tell you how about Shema Shai. Okay, because you got to keep in mind, all right, this devil only has power because of the uh, because of the Lord. All right, that's what Yahweh Shai told, um, um, which, what's his name, um, Pilate. Pontius Pilate. All right. Actually, let's get that real quick because, you know, um, this devil's weak, man. He can't do nothing unto us. Now, of course, he can harm our flesh, but he can't harm our spirit. All right. St. John 19. And let me see. And let me start at verse, okay, St. John 19 and verse 8. Yep, verse 8. And it says, when Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was he was the more afraid. And went again unto the judgment hall and said unto Yahweh Shai, whence art thou? But Yahweh Shai gave him no answer. Then said Pilate unto him, speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to, to crucify thee and have power to release thee? Yahweh Shai answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except the word given thee from above. Therefore, he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. Okay, so Yahweh Shai is telling Pilate, all right, so excuse me, Pilate is telling Yahweh Shai that he got power to crucify thee. So Yahweh Shai came back at him and said, Well, well, well wait a minute. All right. You got power to do that. But guess what? All right. The, my father, Yahweh, gave you that power uh, from above. All right. So if, if it weren't for the most high, you would uh, uh, you be nobody. OK. And that's what you want to keep in mind. You want to keep in mind that, you know, this is all the most high is doing. The most high is in control. All right. So the times that we coming into. All right. You don't want to be uh, fearful. All right. You don't want to be having second thoughts, being doubtful, because ultimately that's just Satan trying to overthrow you and trying to, you know, eliminate you out this this worry rumble, you know, if you will. OK, because this is a fight, you know, this is a spiritual battle. All right. And once Esau, and once Esau heightens up, you know, um, you know, um, events within his new world order. You want to you want to hold fast that crown what you have. You want you want to hold fast the faith that you have in Yahweh Bashma Shai. Okay. So this is the book of um Second Timothy, one and verse seven, and it says, "For the Most High have not to given us the spirit of fear, right? So the Most High didn't give us the spirit of fear, and that proves that fear is, is a demon. All right, it, it, there's an actual fear demon out here." That gets on people, even uh, even on us sometimes. But guess what? The Most High didn't give us the spirit of fear. All right. 
and being that we know the scripture, we have to we have to uh rebuke that that demon of fear because that's ultimately that's just a demon, Satan trying to overthrow you. All right, because the most high didn't give us that spirit of fear. All right. But he did give us this. Let's keep going on. It says, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay. So we have power. All right. We have power through the names. All right. Through, through Yahweh by Shmau Shai. Those names are, 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 those names are powerful, man. Okay. Those names, <laughs> listen, it, it says no other name under heaven whereby men, uh, whereby a man can be saved, okay? Roughly paraphrasing the book of Acts 4, the 12th uh, verse, okay? That that name is a strong tower, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash, all right? So as long as you have faith in those names, you will be protected, all right? So don't fret once, once Esau comes in like a flood. Don't fear once Esau, you know, uh, uh, hems you up and, you know, and persecutes you, man. Okay, don't fear when uh, the hour of temptation comes upon us. All right, because you know right now you have, you know Esau, you know um, injecting people out here with that that juice. All right, that's just the, a precursor to what he's to to what he really has in store, and that's that that karagma, that you know that's that Rev thirteen. All right, so when things you know get heightened, you know. Remain faithful, and, and you know, and uh, and continue to be sound minded. All right. So let's read it one more time. Second Timothy one and seven. For the Most High Yahweh Bashmal Shai hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right. Now let's let's go into the definition of sound mind. And it says. Um, this now I'm on Google. It says this phrase of uh, sound of mind is taken from the Greek word sophronio, which is a compound word combining sadizo and phronio. This means your thoughts can be shielded from the lies of the devil. <laughs> Amen. You know, and that's true because us having a sound of mind, us having a fortified mind. Through you have about small shy, we're not ignorant to Satan's devices. Okay, we're not ignorant to you know Esau's evil plans, man, because the Most High has opened our eyes, all right, and and, uh, and opened our ears to see and hear what this devil is doing. Okay, and it says ridiculous, unfounded, and crazy thoughts that have tripped uh, that have tried to grip your mind in the past. Man, that's heavy. Let's 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 read that again. Okay, so the word sound mind, the term sound mind, it means this means your thoughts can be shielded from the lies of the devil. And that's all Esau does is lie. Okay? He lies in his through his media. All right. You know, he lies every he just he's just a liar. He's a, he's a deceiver. Okay, Diablo, he's a devil. All right. So, so us having a sound mind through how about Shmao Shai. Okay, we're shielded, all right, uh, by the lies of Esau. And it keeps going on. It says, uh, the lies of the devil, ridiculous, unfounded, and crazy thoughts that have tried to grip your mind in the past. Right, that's ultimately demons, you know. Demons trying to overthrow your faith, you know, trying to make you, you know, not believe. Trying to uh, grip our thoughts in the past. But guess what, man? We got Yahweh by Shmuel Shiner side. All right. We have the most high on our side, man. All right. This is the book of. um. Let me see. And actually, let me get this real quick. Because that uh that meaning of sound mind, it reminds me of uh, this scripture right here. Ephesians six. Ephesians 6, man, this whole, this is a good chapter. Um, 
It started at 10. And, um... Start at 10, go to verse 17. Ephesians 6 and verse 10 to verse 17. Finally, my brethren, be strong of the Lord and in the power of his might. Right, man. Uh, what did we say in 2 Timothy 1 and 7? It said, that, you know, uh, you know, power, power, love, and a sound mind. Okay. You want to be strong in the, in the names of Yahweh Shema Shai, be bold. All right. Verse 11, put on the whole armor of the Most High. Now, is there an actual armor that you got to put on to keep in your closet? No, man. This is spiritual armor. Okay, because this is this is a spiritual battle that we're fighting, that we're going through. All right. You got Esau doing wickedness in high places, which is going to say, okay, so we got to be spiritually um, protected. All right. Through Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, by putting on the armor of the Most High. And it says that, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Now let's go into the word wiles. All right. Ephesians 6 and verse 11. Now this is the Blue Letter Bible. Strong's G 3180 Methodiah. Methodiah. Methodiah, okay? And it says, a cunning art, deceit, craft, trickery. All right? He's a devil. It's trickery, man. All right? And going back to the meaning of the word sound mind, it says, this means your thoughts can be shielded from the lies of the devil. All right? And what's the lies? The wiles, the trickery, the cunning arts, the witchcraft, the deceit. He's a, he's a, he's a serpent, man. All right? That's why you want to keep... Stay in your P's and Q's. Keep, keep your, your uh, T's crossing and, and keep your I's dotted. All right? Spiritually, man. Being circumspect. Okay? And it says, verse 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, demons. Okay? Against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Right, man, against these wicked ass elite banking families, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, so on and so forth. Okay, and it says against spiritual wickedness, right? Against spiritual wickedness in high places. This dude somewhere right now doing a damn ritual right now on the left hand side, man. Constantly putting curses up against us, constantly trying to come up against his word. But guess what? The scriptures say. X five uh, 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 like X five and thirty eight. It says that if this council be of the Most High, is it, you know it's gonna it's gonna prosper, okay. And this thing of ours, this truth, you know, that's being pushed across the four winds of the earth, is of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. So guess what? It's gonna it's gonna stand, okay. Excuse me. Verse thirteen. It says. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and have it done all to stand. Right, man, you want to put on that armor. So that way, you know, during, you know, uh, the evil times that's to come, you know, Jacob's trouble, you know, in, in the you know, days, you know, in the, the, the end days, you want to you wanna keep keep that faith in the Habash Shmuel Shai. Continue to, continue to uh, keep that armor of the Most High upon you. All right. And it says, verse 14, stand, therefore, having your loins girt about the truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness, you know, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith all ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right. man, Because what's a shield? A shield is defense. All right. Defense from from uh, from evil. Okay, a, a, a defense from being harmed. All right, so you want to keep that faith as uh, as if it, uh, as if it's a shield, man. All right, being uh, being uh, uh, being rooted in the faith uh, anyhow by Shmuel Shai. All right, 
Hold fast, but start hashing. You know, just like you hold that that shield, you want to hold this, hold hold that faith, man. All right. So that way you can quench the uh, uh the 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 fiery darts of the wicked. All right. Verse seventeen it says, and take the helmet of salvation, and the word. It's like you have the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Most High. Okay. So, hey, man, you know, that's what you want to do, man. You know, continue to have faith, continue to be strong, and, you know, to continue to, you know, uh, 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 keep that whole armor of you. How about Shemal Shai, man? Okay, because these days is not going to get any sweeter. Now, of course, it's, it's going to get bitter, but guess what? After it gets bitter, it's going to get sweet because that will be ultimately the end of Esau's rulership and the beginning of ours. All right? We can end it off on this. Second Edges 16 and verse 75 to verse um, 77. And it says, be ye, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. Right, don't afraid, don't doubt. Okay, you want to be fully convinced in your mind that you know the Lord is going to protect you. Okay, don't doubt. All right, it says it says it says uh, a a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Okay, and it says for the Most High is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord of Power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift lift up themselves. Right, so don't let Things that so don't let things that you did in the past consume you. All right. Just repent that the names of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. You don't want to be in Jacob's trouble. You know, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, regretting something you did in your past, even though you, uh, uh, even though you you can repent. Don't let that hold you down, man, because that those are demons. All right. You want to continue to, you know, uh, um, rebuke Satan. All right. And praise Yahweh Bashma Shah. And keep your faith in the names of Yahweh Bashma Shah Bashir Rakak Radash. All right. Because you, you, you because you gotta keep in mind that's Satan's job to, to, to do that, to, to, to try to overtake you and overthrow you. All right. But it's your job to 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 uh to to uh um to, to push Satan to, to uh to push Satan away. All right. And to get closer and, and to get closer to you how about small shot okay so, okay so don't let you know a a, a, a sin you know or a, a thought you know uh, make you doubt or be afraid all right you want to keep that armor of the most high on you all right verse 77 it says will be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities right man so destruction unto you you know if if you're you know being doubtful if you're Letting your sins weigh you down. That you know, that that's what the scriptures say. Just I just read it. Okay. So I believe Sirach 14 it says that um it says um blessed is the man who conscience have not condemned him. All right. You don't want to condemn yourself in this thing. You want to be confident, you know, in the might of the most high. All right, and it goes on, it says, and cover with their iniquities, like as a field is covered over with the bushes. And the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. All right. So basically, you don't want to fuck yourself up, man. If, if, if you if you are uh, um, allowing your sins to weigh you down and your iniquities to consume you, you know, then you're just walking in the in in path of uh, thorn and thistles. All right. Just, you know, you're just getting all messed up. All right. That's why you want to keep the faith, man. OK. Get one more scripture we can end it off on uh on here. All right. <clears throat> this is the book of um this is one of my favorite uh precepts, Proverbs 18 and verse 10. And it says, The name of the Lord, Yahweh by Shmal Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. All right. So the righteous, you know, whether you may be a brother out here. You know, or 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 uh, 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 one of the few sisters that's trying to serve the Lord, Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Okay, 
because the, the righteous run into it, meaning what? Meaning that they pray to Yahweh Shmuel Shai, okay? And ultimately, they're going to be what? They're going to be safe. They're going to be covered, all right? They're going to be, you know, uh, um, they're going to be um, looked after, all right? Real quick, I know I'm going to end it on that one, but I got to get one more. Daniel 12 and verse 1, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince will stand for the children of thy people. And that's talking about Michael the archangel. Okay? It's going to be a time so bad. Jacob's trouble. All right? No, they like it. But Michael the archangel is going to, you know, uh, intervene, man, and help the Lord's people. You know, the elect. You know? It's going to be that bad, man, that the Lord is going to have to, you know, have a divine intervention, spiritual interference, you know, to, to look after, you know, the Lord's chosen, of the chosen, okay? And it says, and there shall be a time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. But keep in mind, even though it's Jacob's trouble, this this is also uh, eating my trouble, okay? Because people are going are to be caught up in, in the judgment amongst Jake as well, all right? Because this whole earth is about to be judged, man. Babylon's about to be judged. This nation, as you know, with the U.S., the U.S. of A, is going to be judged a judgment from on high. All right. It says that many great miseries is going to be done to, to them in, in, in the in the uh, in, in the latter time. All right. And it says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Who people? The Israelites. Okay, but the elect within. You know the Israelites, okay? Because two thirds of our people are gonna are gonna uh, uh, be cut off on this side and come back in the kingdom through the loins of the elect. All right, but right now they're unclean; they gotta be cleansed. All right, so so the Lord's gonna do away with them. You know, you know through judgment, whether it may be you know being judged by Esau, being being uh, uh being mauled down by a creature, you know, dying of starvation or nuclear missiles. Either way. They're going to get judged. OK. And it says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. And what book is that? The book of life. OK. So you want to continue to have faith in the Lord, you know, continue to uh, 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 keep that sound of mind and continue, you know, continue to have the spirit of perseverance. All right. So that being said, I was going to say, call along La Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and the Lord's will, you Ankin were edified through the spirit of Pavi Yahweh Shmuel Shai, and you feel sisters that may be watching, of course. All right. With that being said, Shalom.